Well, we feel pretty confident that um, I, I think maybe within the next year or two that someone with a neural link implant will be able to outperform um, a uh, pro gamer. Nice. Uh, because the reaction time would be faster. This bold prediction from Neuralink founder Elon Musk comes as the company marks another milestone with its second successful brain implant in a patient with spinal cord injuries. The company's aim to enable people to control digital devices purely through thought. Although he kept details sparse, Musk revealed that this patient, like the first one who was paralyzed in a diving accident, is seeing promising results. The first human recipient of the Neuralink chip, a quadriplegic, and now play video games just by using his mind. Me trying to move a body part um, and then that being mapped um, in some sort of like machine learning algorithm to be able to um, identify like my brain signals and then take that and give me cursor control. That all kind of made sense to me. I don't know like all the in, ins and outs of it, but I was like, there are still signals in my brain firing. They just can't get through because there's like a gap in my spinal cord. And so they just, they can't get all the way down and back up, but they're still there. Musk hopes to expand Neuralink beyond repairing neuron damage to enhancing AI human interactions. He believes future advancements could include augmentation for individuals without neurological issues, potentially offering superhuman abilities such as improved vision across different spectrums. But these ideas raise serious medical and ethical questions over not just the long-term effects of implanting such devices, but also issues of privacy, consent, and potential misuse. For more of our unbiased, straight fact reporting, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit us at san.com.